What's going on guys, Nemesis here, welcome back to the channel, and today's video, I got a pretty cool video for you guys. I'm going to be doing my thoughts on P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Spam for the new meta, so without further ado, please make sure to like and subscribe, and let's get straight into it. Before I get into this video, I want to say that um, if you guys haven't checked out my Discord, I'm going to put a link in the description, because that's where I'm going to start making announcements for you guys to like 1v1 me for videos and stuff like that, so yeah. Back to these balance changes and like my thoughts on the new meta. Um, yeah, there's a lot of cards that are on here that's pretty interesting. Like <clears throat> like this card, for example, the cannon. <laughs> oh, this guy's actually playing 2.6. For example, the cannon. Um, yeah, I got a I got a nerf, which I gladly, gladly enjoyed the nerf of the cannon. I think it deserved a nerf. It was like too much HP for three elixir, and um, obviously cannon was pretty good against Pekka. So with that being said. Uh, I'm like I said, I'm very thankful it got a nerf. Uh, let's see what he wants to do here. Um, yeah, so cannon nerf is really, really uh, necessary. Um, Barbarian hut as well. So Barbarian Barbarian hut got a buff, or not? I wouldn't even say it got a buff. So it got a rework. Um, and what they did to it was like they made the barbarian spawn three barbarians every like 15 seconds. I'm pretty sure or something like that. But the thing is, at the end of the day, it was actually a nerf to the card because uh, you can actually just counter a Barbarian Hut with a Fireball now. If you time the Fireball well, you could literally counter the Barbarian Hut where in total, the Barbarian Hut will only spawn one, um, one Barbarian in general. Oh my gosh, I'm saying Barbarian so much. Um, so yeah, that was actually really bad on their end. So like I said, I think they tried to make it a little bit stronger, but at the end of the day, it was actually it's actually worse now. So yeah. Oh, that was actually really good for me. Let's see what he wants to do here. Oh, uh, my thought process honestly though was that if Barbarian HUD did get a um, an actual buff though, because the Elixir Golem got a buff, I think it got like an attack speed buff. So with that being said, if the Barbarian Hunter was actually meta, uh, I would assume that Elixir Golem would be meta because there's obviously Elixir Golem Barb Hut decks. And with that being said, if that were the case, if that deck ever does become meta, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now that I believe Magic Archer Fireball will be the best pack of Bridge Band variation because that is the best variation to counter that deck as opposed to playing like Minions Poison. That variation is terrible. But yeah, if that deck was ever meta... Okay, I completely missed the queen for some reason. It doesn't matter, but like, yeah, I missed the queen. So yeah, but I still personally think that minion's poison will be the best variation. But if elixir golden bar put does become meta, then fireball magic archer would be the best deck. I would like to say. So yeah, that's gonna go ahead and be game number one, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, jump to the next one. Let's also talk about Goblin Gang, because Goblin Gang did get a buff, it got its extra Spear Goblin back, so it's like 3 Goblins and 3 Spear Goblins, and if this is big, which I think it is a pretty big buff actually, um, it could potentially replace uh, Guards and Log Bait again, and with that being said, if it actually does do that, I think Magic Archer will start even seeing more play in like P.E.K.K.A., because I think it will still be the play as opposed to Minions, so I'm really hoping that Goblin Gang does see a resurgence because I'd rather play against a Goblin Gang than guards. So, uh, yeah. Goblin Gang with well, the buff is pretty nice. It deserved the buff, to be honest, anyway. Like, it, it was just seeing no play. Guards were just overshining it like crazy. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to go for Battle Ramp to protect this uh, bandit real quick. Just so, um, deep this down and to keep my uh, troops healthy a little bit. Um, let's see what he wants to do here. Okay, he's gonna go for Sparky in the back. With that being said, I'm gonna go for Magic Arch in the back. I don't really agree with the Sparky too much because he plays it kind of high, so I could just Magic Arch in the back here. And probably E Wiz on top of it or something. Let's see what he wants to do. Or maybe Pekka on top of it. I kind of want the E Wiz in hand, to be honest with you. So yeah, here it goes. Um, but what other cards? Mighty Miner. Okay, so Mighty Miner is a big one. Hold on, let me just add the Skeleton Army. I know he's gonna play it. Yeah, there it is. Um, and at this point in time. Because like, he probably doesn't have that much elixir. Yeah. Okay, yeah, he definitely doesn't have elixir, right? Man is like literally doing everything. But yeah, Mighty Binder got an 8% HP nerf, which is 
amazing. I've been saying for the longest time that Mighty Miner has so much HP for some reason, and it's finally actually getting an HP nerf, which I'm really happy about. Um, so with that being said, hopefully that Mighty Miner Logbait deck calms down a little bit, because that deck was just terrible matchup for P.E.K.K.A. Like, there's literally no way to defend that kind of deck. Because of the three card cycle and the Mighty Miner having so much HP that like you literally can't do anything about it. I'm just gonna go for this Royal Ghost over here just to try to take down this tower. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go for a Pekka right here. That should take down the tower if he doesn't do anything. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Do that. I'm gonna let this thing get a shot first, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go like this. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a Zap. That should be a really nice defense right there. And uh, yeah. So your Mighty Miner HP nerf is really nice. Um, so you, you guys should be able to DPS down a little bit more quickly. And just kind of what I'm saying right now, these balance changes, it really does seem like it's going well for P.E.K.K.A. I know I kind of say that a lot. There's going to be some way another deck that's going to counter P.E.K.K.A. I don't know what deck it's going to be right now. But at the time being, P.E.K.K.A. definitely looks like it's going to be in a better spot. Okay, so we're at our next game here against, uh, I don't even know, oh, Breaking Bad. I mean, I guess from like the TV show or something. So, um, okay, he's going to go for a Hog Rider Bridge. I'm just going to go for Bandit plus Electro Wizard. Uh, another card that's getting nerfed with the Mortar. I think it's getting an 8% HP nerf. At first, it was actually going to get a 13% HP nerf, which I'll, I was obviously, I was thankful for, you know? Like, I'm definitely taking a Mortar nerf that big. But to be fair... Bias aside, putting my bias aside, um, obviously that's just too much, and it's getting like they change it back to like an eight percent HP nerf, which is still a pretty solid nerf, but uh, yeah, definitely needed one in general, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, so mortar's getting nerfed, and obviously mortar counters Pekka as well, so yeah, I'm gonna zap this thing. I think that's a really nice zap. I don't know if I really needed a zap, but uh, yeah. So basically, what I'm trying to say is that all the cards that kind of counter P.E.K.K.A. right now are getting nerfed. So I'm super thankful about that, and I really think that P.E.K.K.A. will see a bit more play this meta. Especially the Marcher Fireball variation, I think that's going to be the best one. Okay, we're going to do that. And like I said, that's basically all for the balance changes, so yeah. Um, like I said, hopefully there ain't no new deck that gets created that counters P.E.K.K.A. Because this... Could potentially be the uh, one time I or we actually see a, a decent meta for the deck, and uh, yeah, so that's basically all I have for the balance changes. Let's just go back to this game and just destroy this guy real quick. Let's focus up and just beat this guy down. I'm gonna go for Bandit at the bridge because he just used three elixir for no reason. Um, okay, he's gonna do that. With that being said, I'm gonna kite this kite this thing right now. <clears throat> it's a pretty good kite. He shouldn't have too much elixir. I don't think he has enough for a giant skeleton, but I could be wrong. Because I wasn't really even focusing too hard, but yeah, that's what I thought. That's exactly what I thought. I'm going to go for an Electro Wizard 2. Okay, Barbarians are getting a ton of damage right there. Um, okay, he's going to go for that. I'm going to go for a P.E.K.K.A. in the back. The reason why is because, obviously, P.E.K.K.A. against the Giant Skeleton is pretty solid. Um, let's see here. Let's see what he wants to do. Okay, he's going to go for a Wizard. Totally fine. Doesn't matter. Oh, oh, I think I'm going to go for a band in the back. Just play a little bit passively right now. Just kind of like protect this lane a little bit. Uh, he's probably going to go for a, uh, oh, did he play Skeleton Army before? I don't even know, to be honest. I really don't even know. Um, I'm going to go for a Lesher Wizard over here, just to defend the side. I'm going to play this Peck at the bridge, because if he wants to go for a Hog Rider, that giant skeleton isn't going to go go through. To like protect the um, whatever that thing is, that hog rider. And with this being said, I'm gonna go for a Batarang plus a magic archer to predict the minions potentially. Uh, or a okay, there we go. I'm gonna zap that. Come on, don't have the elixir, dude. Don't have the elixir. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, so that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll do more in the future.